Uh, yes, we got a letter from uh, Philip Alston yesterday, and it's again another nuisance. And uh, I think either Mr. Fon- General Fonseca should not have said that, or if he didn't say it, uh, Mrs. Jan should not have made it up. Uh, you see, the unfortunate thing is Philip Alston sent us a letter in which he bases his questions on a reported interview. So I pointed out to him, I sent a letter saying that, uh, you know, the interview was withdrawn, or rather, General Fonseca said he never said anything of the sort. So the very basis of this allegation is gone. So Philip Elston's uh, letter no longer stands, and I suggested he withdrew, withdraw it. Um, but of course, this had happened earlier as well. You're probably aware that in July there was a newspaper report. I'm not saying General Fonseca said it, but there was a news, uh, 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 email, I'm um, sorry, a website report on Lanka News Web. I think that's the website run by Mr. Mangla Samarira, in or his associates, in which it was claimed that General Fonseca had said that, you know, he took some tough decisions. People in air-conditioned rooms can't do a war. He got messages saying, don't kill anyone who comes with white flags, but he knew the damage done by people who earlier had not had white flags, and therefore the decision had to be taken to destroy the LTT. So that implied that he had been responsible for this, but I'm sure no sane man would have said something like that. So probably the website simply exaggerated. Now in this case we find that uh, Mrs. Jans has perhaps done something of the sort herself, according to General Fonseca. But it's sad that, you know, this type of thing can lead to repercussions, but then Philip Alston is also an excitable man. Because on Channel 4 he wrote to us, uh, I wrote and asked him, are you saying there was an incident we should investigate? Because if there's an incident and you tell us the place and the date, we must investigate. That is a fact. But are you telling us there's a television program alleging an incident? In which case, can you tell us whether this television program is plausible? We investigated and found it, it wasn't. Philip Alston has not bothered yet. I mean, he's after several months to let us know about the television program itself. He can investigate it himself, and there is other people in the UN said the first thing they would have done was checked on the program. So I think Mr. Alston is a bit of an excitable chap, and, uh, you know, unfortunately in this case he has to be told very firmly, please rephrase your letter if you want something looked at, because this interview has now been denied. Yes, well, the minute we got the letter... Uh, it was addressed to me from our mission in Geneva. I sent a reply. Unfortunately, I was busy yesterday, so you know I couldn't sign it. I sent it this morning. And I told him that uh, your statement is based on the leader. Most of the facts in it, there was one thing that wasn't, was based on the leader. You have asked whether this news report is true. And yesterday, the leader actually carried a note saying from General Fonseca saying it's not true. Now, I don't know whether General Fonseca and Mrs. Jans have agreed on what was said or not said. She says she stands by her story. He denies it. Um, As I said before, we had problems of people either misquoting him or, if it was true, him saying a very terrible thing. Uh, But I also gave Philip Elston some advice. You know, he's like a sad man. You know, he has behaved rather badly towards us. And when I asked him, he said, no, your ambassador, this was Mr. Sarah Fernando, came at me like a bulldog, he said. So I thought I had to reciprocate. So if he wants to be a bulldog, he should not be a special rapporteur. But the uh, really sad thing is, you know, I'm an academic, he's an academic. I was taught when I was young, always check your references. You know, if, don't say something just because someone else says it. Check whether it's accurate. So I told him that, you know, I'm, you know, I do teach my students. I hope he teaches his students. And you should apply this in real life also, not only in the university. And I pointed out that both Navanetham Pillay and Radhika Masai both said on the channels for issue. You know, some, he should have checked these things. You know, she said she would never have, Navanetham Pillay said she would never have come out with letters on the strength of simply a video like this. So that way I think he really needs to grow up a bit. Yes, you know, this has obviously created problems. Uh, and I think, you know, General Fonseca, whatever he said should have been more careful. I'm sure he never intended to put the army into trouble. And if he wanted to put the defense secretary into trouble, you know, even when he denied saying this, he made an allegation about the defense secretary and said he said something, but it never happened. So I don't know why he wants to say someone said something that never happened. But uh, I'm sure even what he was supposed to have said in July, whatever he said, he could not have really come out with such an extraordinary statement as Lanka Newsweb said. Uh, With regard to Mrs. Jans, of course, I think obviously, you know, she is not very fond of this government. 
She, her editorial suggests she wants General Fonseca to win. She may have thought that saying General Fonseca said this was promoting his campaign. But she should really think more carefully about what might happen to the country and should be more careful. And also about General Fonseca himself. I mean, she should not claim he said things that he then has to deny saying. So these things are rather sad. But I think as far as we are concerned, the forces have shown themselves admirable. We used to check on this. You know, as head of the Peace Secretariat, whenever there was a news item, I would actually ask for explanations. The army sometimes couldn't provide me things because there was over a wide range and there were not details. Uh, but I still have my uh, uh, list in which every incident is recorded and the explanation given to me later. Uh, and in the cases we have them, they show very clearly there was no targeting of civilians. The Air Force was marvelous. I mean, they used to actually come with maps and so on and show me this is what we targeted, this is what we did. And, um, you know, for instance, if you have in 400, over 400 airstrikes, only 29 in which Tamil Net alleged civilian, uh, civilian deaths. And of those, 22 are only one or two. Obviously, we're not targeting civilians. So we know that we are not subject to this type of allegation. And we will certainly make sure that people who fought against terrorism in a more humane way than any other country in the world, they should not suffer.